one common guy in this is timeline FNAF test part three. This is FNAF three. No worries, next part is FNAF four. Anyways, uh, I still have uh, one thing to say. This game takes place in Fazbear's Fright. A horror Texan and you're surviving its one animatronic spring trap which has been revealed it's William Afton being controlled by the suit. That's right. Puppet Guy aka William Afton being controlled by the suit. And that's all we know. Oh, and the animatronics are being dismantled in the game. Even though, thankfully, it just showed in the mini games. Now, that's all you need to know about the lengths of the timeline in FNAF 3. It's just like FNAF 1 and 2. You know, it still has a couple many, couple of unanswered questions that I would like to answer, but first let's let us establish. So in nineteen seventy so let's us establish and try to figure out, you know, where this timeline was, you know, before before the game actually came out. So it's been established that maybe in nineteen seventy two there was a restaurant called Bepper's Family Diner. And in the restaurant we see that maybe that the security guard that used to complain during that phone I mentioned in FNAF two uh used to be employed came an employee after he was done finishing his shift. I mean maybe the reason why he complained about the air trying to go to his office is because, you know, he, he realized that the animatronic was starting to move on their own before they even were controlled by humans. And after a while he decided to became an employee of another employee of Red Rush Diner, but him and another employee got Springlock and became known as the Shadow Animatronics. And meanwhile, I will soon assume that JJ used to part of another restaurant, which I get into once we get to part five. And then that they were, that it came because of a person, of another being, human being, haunting the JJ Animatronic, they rebuilt JJ, they rebuild another form of JJ, but this time calling it Balloon Boy. And that there are kids being missing and haunting the animatronics from the first game. They became the weather animatronics, they rebuild the toy animatronics. The toy animatronics were scrapped, and the new animatronics returned in the first game. You, you, 20 years after the restaurant was closed. And you got all that good because this one also has unsolved mysteries. Now, I have to say, uh, it's just going to be the same number of unsolved mysteries as the first game since this takes place after the first game. Now, first question. Why did William Afton, aka Purple Guy, dismantle the Amtronics? What was his reason to? Now, I believe that he was done of dealing with the original animatronics and he was done of having the characters and having the characters you know follow him around and the second and my last unanswered question for FNAF 3 is 
Who, oh, who do you play as in FNAF 3? Now, I know you play as security guard, but who? Unlike FNAF 1 and 2, and somewhere around online FNAF 4, it's not obvious of what name of your character is. Well, I believe that security guard you're playing is one of the employees that used to work at Fred Fastburn's Pizza. Which I get to later once we get to part five, which will coming out in Wednesday. Why I believe this? Well, one, he, they say he's a security guard, but it would make totally sense if he's the one who listens to the audio set tapes in fact, for Friday 2. I believe he set the place on fire so he can never ever want to enter Fazbear's front again and have a mission to do something, have a plan to do something else. So there you go, I believe the security guard of FNAF 3 is actually one of the employees who used to work at the Fazbear restaurants. He used to trust another employee who used to work there, but that's a different story. So, now you've got the inclusion of FNAF 3. Anyways, uh, now let's explain the timeline of how this game really set up to happen. Now, we're going on next. So, Next video is FNAF 4. Bye.